warrior uh, asked me to sign his tattoo after we rode bikes, and I couldn't figure out why. And uh, he immediately went down to uh, a tattoo parlor in Waco mm -hmm. and got my signature tattooed on his tattoo. This idea came to me. There's a, uh, a young painter out of Fort Worth named Cedric Huckabee, and he's a great painter. And uh, uh, Huckabee said, you ought to paint the portraits of people nobody knows. He knew I'd painted the world leaders. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it just dawned on me that why not honor these vets? And not only were we able to honor them, uh, but it, it'll draw attention to, to what we're doing at the Bush Center, mm -hmm. which is how to get them the best help we can get them. One, one, of the, one of the messages we have, or I, I'm going to have, is, you know, it's courageous to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that if they're willing to seek help, that a really good way to get help is to talk to other vets. Mm -hmm. And so we, we're highlighting peer-to-peer -peer networks that are effective. Dwyer is a special forces guy, and uh, he uh, lost his eye and lost an arm. And Dwyer uh, was at his son's Little League game, and the umpire made a call he didn't agree with, and took his eye out and said to the umpire, you could use this. <laughs>